All right, like I said last time, Angie's cabin and Ember shared mine. We're gonna make it through both of them. As we progress our character in this world, man, and I wanted to make something extremely clear here, all right? If anybody ever puts you down for your path of choice in a character, just remind them that, uh, who gives this shit? You do it your way or the highway, right? All right, so I'm gonna do a wee bit of stealth archery here, get ourselves some sneak up and stuff like that. What's that? We leveled up again. Hopefully we'll have some deaths to show that every human here is flawed. Let's see if we can kill the bandit. Because it's become such a mastery of a problem how good I am at this. Now it's time to do some- Oh! Can we get him into the- into the trap? That would be pretty cool. I'd like to make some iron armor as well, man. That's what I really would like to do. But we're gonna stabby stabby the bandit first here. Goodbye, my good friend. Alright, let's take his golden lockpick and then let's go over here and take his gold. Now, I will say that he has a wonderful steel sword. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Drop my- uh, unfavorite the iron sword and favor the steel sword and then come down to the steel sword and press one and we're gonna use that now That's what we're gonna do All right, we're gonna use this now now that sword keeps equipping to our left hand Thankfully, so that's pretty cool unless we change to magic so as we change the magic there now It's back to this now usually I'm kind of worried about what's gonna happen when the bandits coming out But not this time man this time we take out comrade bandit like this we, we give them a wee bit of walloping on the sword, alright, and then what we do here is we level up because I kind of wanted an excuse to level up. So now we'll be able to use muffle and stuff like that because I'm pretty sure it's 120 something magicka to use it. So, we're gonna go over here and put a point into... Oh, heavy armor would be cool. But, alas, we are going to put our points into smithing because I'd like to actually straight up just make some steel armor instead actually. That would be pretty cool. So let's burn this boy because the bandit fell off the bridge. All right, and remember, if you do bursts, you can save Magicka and m Flames does like fire damage over time. So that's how you can save yourself some money. We're going to take the lockpick and the gold. Man, recently I've been playing Halo 2 on Legendary. And uh, you know what? When you play a game for the first time, I highly recommend not playing it on the highest difficulty. Because other than your lack of game knowledge on the game itself, um. If you're not having fun, I don't think you should do it, because I don't think I'm going to keep doing it. Not that I don't think I can do it. Because I feel at this point, I'm just doing it with not really any incentive. On this game, I can handle Legendary. You know, to a certain extent, so I don't really care too much. But naturally, another one's, um, yeah. I don't know, man. I love Halo. I feel like I'm hindering my experience playing it on a higher difficulty I don't enjoy. Look at our archery get itself up here, man. We're getting a wee good few points here. I forgot we were using two-handed here, so... Let's, uh, do a lot of damage here, because we have two points of armsmen. Which I think is the two-handed perk point thing. Sorry if there was a cut there, man. I had to sort something out there. Now, I don't want to take the key off the bandit, because like I explained before, I like to open these doors and level up my lockpicking. It's just a, a handy little thing I like to do. We're going to check him and take his gold, but nothing else. And then we're gonna open this bad boy up. And see what we can get inside this chest, see if we can get any more stuff for vegetable soup. Remember, we have vegetable soup and we have potions. Now, let me actually make sure we're still on legendary. Yeah, we're still on legendary. Just remember, coming prepared for every battle you come to is the main way to get through this, man. Without any problems whatsoever. Smoothly. Without anything. Now, what does lavender do? Like, there's no reason not to learn some stuff here. So, let's check out here. Let's eat some lavender. We got resist magic on that. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's check the rest of these bikes. Flour, mm, we got some apples in that. We'll take the potatoes because hippity D, I am a man of my own culture. Banded iron armor, gold and silver ingot, that for sure is something I absolutely want to take. So we're going to put that on. That increases our armor rating by... 44... 8! <laughs> I could not count for a second there. I'm also going to wear the novice hood. It might reduce us by a couple of points. Uh, it reduces us by... A lot of points, but we're gonna take it anyway, and we have the Ring of the Minor Knight, which increases our heavy armor, if I'm not mistaken, yep, by 12 points. So let's head on up here, a bit more prepared for the battle, uh, a bit bigger, a bit fatter. Let's do a wee bit of sneaking here, it might not be a lot, but it'll level our sneaking up just a wee bit, which is cool. So let's uh, do ourselves, we probably should have did an archery shot there, that probably would have been a good idea. Alright, let's do a wee bit of damage here. Let's take ourselves a vegetable soup, and we'll take ourselves some healing potions. Because, again, man, you can just make so many. Don't be afraid to use them. 
It's not hard to go and get a bunch of new ones. We'll read the light armor forging sm uh, smithing book to get ourselves up to 21. We'll take the gold and we'll take the ingots over here. And then let's get ourselves up to the big bandit who's coming down here right now. There he is. We're being attacked by a archer though, which is lovely. Alright, try and dodge all these attacks here that they're doing because two-handed does a lot of damage. And if we could just keep drawing out two-handed swings... Like that, it'd be pretty great. So we got rid of the big bandit, that would be a problem. So there's only one more that's up here. And they're the one using the bow. Let's make a quick save here, just in case something happens. Uh, do we- can we hit them with the range here? No, I missed everything there. Oh, let's get over here, man. I highly recommend, no matter what you do, guys, is that you listen to some of the cyberpunk soundtrack radio stuff. Because there is some absolutely stellar music in that soundtrack. Bump. Our work does be looking pretty cool, bro. Our work does be looking pretty cool. Let's take the gold and the iron arrows. And, yep. Yeah, you know, the thing with the early game is... Uh, we got four tomatoes from that. Oh, no, I took the carrots. Is that it doesn't really matter if you waste all your time checking barrels for your stuff. We didn't take them carrots. Because at the end of the day... Um, you know, all this planning here, you won't have to do later in the game. You know, you really only have to do it here at the beginning of the game. And when you're surviving later, tanking unprecedented amounts of damage and killing everything in sight without a single problem, you'll look back at this and you will laugh your guts off. So let's take the not carrots, man. Oh, I'm getting too good habit of that. We'll take the gold lockpick, gem, stamina. You know, we'll take the long bonus steel axe and we'll sell them anyway for some extra money. There's one more small chest around the corner here. I would like to go to Anise's cabin and have that ready so we could break down any enchanted stuff. This is a novice lock, so we'll open this up. Give this a wee twirl, we will. Hi, it's a crack with this thing. We'll take the garnet, the gold, the steel ingot, and... Ah, do you know what? We'll take it anyway, hi. We'll do a wee bit of, um... Stuff with that now. Do I have many gems, is what I really want to know. We have one petty soldier. No, we don't have many. I will be dabbling in getting a wee bit of conjuration. Not because I want to solely use it, but because I want to get ourselves at a point where we are using mystic binding. And binding people's souls, uh... Automatically, without using soul trap as a spell. Because I'd have to get really close to people, and I don't really want to do that. Because who likes getting close to people? Let's head straight over to Anissa's cabin. Just a reminding tip, man, so I don't waste too much time traveling that. Make sure to get any blue mountain flower you find along the road, boys. This stuff will help you out a lot. And uh, something that has been out a quite a long time, but I didn't find out until quite recently when I did a stream and someone taught me about it. Is on this rock up here. If you come over here, there is a skeleton of a deer over here. And inside it, if you didn't know, is a flawless emerald. And a flawless emerald is worth, as you've seen there, if you weren't paying attention, 750. Now, and obviously you're not going to get the full pricing for that, but still. It's kind of there at the very beginning of the game, just sitting inside a skeleton, so. Now, we could deal with Anissa's dialogue, but I don't particularly want to. I want to kind of take her out of the equation here, because the thing is, as I've explained before, you get some really, really good uh, a good checkpoint here to to take care of enchanting and alchemy. Really quickly, I used to, as I said, go to Dragon uh, Dragon's Reach, but I don't really want to do that anymore. We will take the rose because I want to sell them, and we'll take the steel dagger as well. So, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything that needs to be disenchanted, but I mean, we can kind of just come in here anyway and open it up. Uh, we'll read the Song of the Alchemists, because we can bring that to Lamy in Morthal, Saber uh, Sabercat Tooth, and a Torchbook Thorax. They're some pretty decent ingredients for stuff that, but we probably won't use any for a while. It's always good, man. You know what? Remember, with potions, if two ingredients share the exact same... Um, what's it called? The exact same effect. You can make something out of it. That's the simplistic way of knowing it. So, yes, you might only have the first two ingredients of most things you eat, but that still gives you enough to learn. So, if we eat a blue butterfly wing, we get damage stamina. If we eat this, we have restore health and fortify um, health because we use that for potions. Bone meal, damage stamina. Now, look at that. Blue Butterfly Wind is damage stamina, and Bone Meal is damage stamina, alright? So, I mean, I know most people understand this, but this really is a case of, look, you take the two of these, you get a damage stamina potion right there, and we also learned that both ingredients share another effect, which is Fortify Conjuration. Now, that is pretty goddamn good. Now, you can just use the ingredients and find out their effects here, but eating them will give you the first effect of them as well. So, Garlic, we discover, has a resist poison. Hargraven Fetters has a damage magicka. 
Lavender has resist magicka. Mora has restore magicka. Purple Mountain Flower, you'll see it here, has restore stamina. Saber Cat Toad, which is a very expensive ingredient, has restore stamina. We could have used the two of them. Weakness to magic on the salt pile. The Torch Bio Thorax has restore stamina. A lot of th restore stamina ingredients here. And we got restore health on the butterfly wing. There we go. That's another restore health um, thing here. So. We can make a couple more potions here if we go in. We'll take the blue mountain flower, we'll take the wheat, and we'll take... We'll press R, we'll use butterfly wind and the blue mountain flower. And that makes us another potion of restore health, because they both uh, share the same ingredient. So now, bear claws, we don't know what it does. But, we tried to use it, there wasn't any shared ingredients, so we couldn't do anything with it. And as you can see here... None of these share anything that I am aware of from looking at the four ingredients, so... That's the best way to learn about stuff. Now, let's see if we can disenchant anything here. We do have some hoods and stuff like that. So, we'll get rid of the blue mage robes. And we'll not use the ring of minor knight or anything like that because we want to keep them. And that's pretty much the most interesting things you can get down here. Uh, we do have some cool ingredients here. I think we have one more blue mountain flower left here. Yeah, and we found a piece of wheat. So, we can use that on spider egg and learn root. Look, they both share damage stamina. We have so many damage stamina effects, man. We got Fortify Conjuration, found from Lavender, because Bone Meal, we already discovered, has Fortify Conjuration. So we can make another one out of that. And I'm not sure what Salt did there to influence anything, but we take it anyway, you know? Now, I'm pretty sure I did accidentally pick up... I picked up two Lanterns by accident. And I'm pretty sure I picked up some more stuff there. So, we'll take the weed anyway, because weed's always good, and we'll take that spare vegetable soup, because, I mean, it's spare vegetable soup. We'll check out these sacks here, carrots, salt, and sitting on the chair is not what we wanted to do, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, we're gonna do some enchanting here, and all that good stuff in the future when we need to. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that for that part. Now, we can head to Valheim Keep and get ourselves a bit more leveled up. But I think what we should do now is get ourselves some steel armor. We have enough equipment that we can... I think we can level up again as well. We have enough equipment that we can sell. Yeah, we can level up. And uh, get some stuff for it. So, we definitely want to do that. Uh, you can always press the period key if you want to immediately get put into this, by the way. Just letting you know for future stuff. We don't have enough to make Dwarven or that, so that's fine. For heavy armor, I would like the extra boost, man, but when you get smithing up, and with the improvements on alchemy, you really don't need to do it. Like, you really, really don't need to do it one bit. So, for this, we're going to take Conjuration. We need 20, we need 30 for bound weapons we'll cast on that. So, we're definitely going to have to get a basic Conjuration spell, which I think I'm going to go and do now. Uh, bound Sword would be super handy, but we'll be fine for now. Now, I'm going to wait 15 hours, so we can wait till the morning time. Uh, we'll, we'll wait three more hours here. And hopefully Adriana will be on her way. No, nope, she's here now. So, let's see what she has for sale. I'll do that mini quest later, but I won't worry about it now. We'll sell the battle axe, the iron swords, two longbows, the dagger, two steel axes, and we'll not keep, get rid of them. Get rid of these two, this. We'll get rid of the shield. We definitely don't need the shield. And then we'll go in here and we will buy some steel. Now, steel is unbelievably expensive. And we will need a lot of it for this, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's check out what exactly we need here, because we do have some leather to do some stuff. So, we're on currently around 40 armor rating. We need... 4. Uh, 4. Let's see. 5. 6, 7. We'll not use the helmet. Um, 8, 9. So, we need 9 steel ingots. Do I have any here? That we can get. Uh, we have seven. So we have seven and we need two more. What we could do is... I could go to Alvor and just steal two of his. But we won't do that. We'll just make some leather strips and we'll buy two more off her. So let's make some leather out of the wolf pelts. And we'll just make more out of that. And we'll make four of the leather pieces into leather strips. And we'll keep the other leather. Alright, let's talk to Adriana. What have you got for sale? Let's go down here, find her steel. We need two more pieces, which we can afford, thank God. Hopefully we won't need more iron, because I didn't mine anymore. So we'll make the steel armor. We'll take the boots, and we will take the steel Nordic gauntlets. Now, we are out of remaining armor, but we can sell the other armor we're wearing at the moment. So, we have 40. Let's see what we have after using the steel stuff. 64. We have a wee bit more to defend us from attacks, but it's not a whole lot, so... So we'll sell the two of these, 
And um, we'll go down to her. And we'll see what steel she has. And we will get two pieces of steel, I guess. Because I want to upgrade my armor. I would like one more. So we can get that up to 38. And then we can get the boots up to 15. And that gives us an armor rating of 67. We could do one more. So, what I'll do is, because I didn't do this when I got here, and I should have, is we'll go straight on to Bellathor and we'll sell all the side stuff we have here, man. Again, I really would like to go and talk to Carlotta, or like get her quest and get it done, but I'd like some more money, so I don't really want to do that right now. Alright, let's take our weapon out, because I'm probably going to have to reset him once. So let's talk to him while he talks about selling his goddamn sister. Go down to Misk. We'll sell all this. Now, as I said, we're not getting the 750 out of it, but we are getting a decent bit out of it, which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to keep any gems we get, or any petty soul gems and stuff like that we get. In Apparel, we can sell the Silver Garnet Ring. And in Weapons, we have nothing else to sell. In Potions, we can sell this. Um, we'll sell these. So, Stamina Potions, as I said, are just an easy means of getting some money, and you really don't need them, man. Uh, carrots are absolutely fundamentally useless, but um, for some reason I have lots of them, and I don't know why. Keep them. We'll keep all the books. I'm going to sell clairvoyance. I don't really want it. And I guess we'll use sparks, but I mean, I, I don't really have any use for it, to be honest. We didn't really need to do anything after that, thank God. So, let's grab this blue mountain flower. I'm kind of alright for health potions, I guess. We have 11, and we could go and get a follower. But we have 618 gold, so I can get one more piece of steel and we can upgrade our armor here to be better. I actually wouldn't mind making... I wouldn't mind making a steel warhammer. That's something I don't think I'm fully against. So let me get... Let me get three pieces of, of steel off her. Alright. Uh, did I buy or sell from her there? I'm not sure. Oh, we need iron. That's what we need. So... Oh, I wouldn't mind using a greatsword, man, but oh, the, I tell you, the, the, the steel warhammers are just so high in damage, so. We need one iron ingot, and we need one more steel ingot, so we technically need two more steel ingots, because we want to improve it as well, so. Let's go down to her misc, uh, and we'll take two of these, and we'll take, we'll take two iron ore, whatever. Oh yeah, there's lots of blue mountain flower around here, I forgot about that naturally. Oh, we have four iron ores. We have four iron ingots from this. That's pretty cool. Let's take the blue mountain flower here. Let's take the blue mountain flower there. Uh, there's more over here. Yeah, there's always a bunch around here. I forgot about that. And then we'll go in here. We'll go down to steel. Scroll to the very bottom. Steel warhammer. We will make that. One more piece of steel wouldn't be a bad idea because we have a steel sword. And we could increase that. That's not a bad idea. So let's do that. Oh, man, look at that. We upgraded our stuff, so let's upgrade our Steel Nordic Gauntlets. Now, look at that, man. We can actually go higher now because we improved our... We improved our equipment and stuff like that, so... Uh, I actually didn't buy enough. So we can only move that up to 36, which is whatever, so... Let's buy ourselves some more Steel Ingots. I think she only has... No, she has no more. Whatever. We don't have the one-handed sword up, but we have our Warhammer up, so let's make a proper save for that. Okay, that's not too bad. And what's next here? Talk to the Arlo White Run. We won't continue the main quest just yet, and I still don't need think I need a companion. Uh, a really good way of getting speech up, by the way, is you can go and sort out the... I found this out on stream by someone else again, is if you go to Valheim Keep, uh, to the bandit there, you can get them to keep giving you the speech check for the... Uh, well, not bounty. What is it they ask you for? The toll. The toll on the road they ask you for. So, again, definitely worth taking all ingredients, man, because you can stockpile these later, and God only knows what you'll need them for. Like, I'm not even joking. Just take them. Even if you think you won't need lavender, and you don't know what the effects are, take it. Absolutely stockpile the crap out of it. So, we're taking a lot less damage now. We're still taking a lot of damage, and they can still kill us, but it's much better. And remember, we don't need to always heal, so if you can avoid it, just, you know, turn around and, and do what I just did. Now, I'm not going to just side go off into the caves here. I want to go straight to Valheim Keep and do the miscellaneous quest. For once, we're just not going to sidetrack off into that. Unless I really need to. We can come back to Grey Winter Watch, like, way later. Because I'm sure these plants have some effect I could make use of later that they don't have right now. Oh, look, it's Tulsker. I'll take the purple mountain flowers, man. Right, so... 
I won't. I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna come across some skeevers and stuff up here, but I'm just going to avoid it. So we're about halfway up the road before we get to Valheim, so you don't have to see the walk. All right, we're coming up to the Valheim tires now. I fought three, five wolves, I think, in total on my way. Shot an elk and something. Now, funny enough, I don't remember what triggers this, but they're attacking us straight up. Never mind. All right. Well, anyway, you can do a speech check with her for the toll here, and it's pretty cool uh, because. We did have to use two health potions, and then I managed to get away with using restoration healing for, um, um, the fight I had with the three wolves. Can we actually just cook while we're out? Nah, we're in combat, never mind. <laughs> that doesn't work. Thankfully, we are finding some more healing potions. We'll take the amethyst, the gold lockpick, and gem. Let's check inside this dresser. There's usually nothing of interest. Now, there is a bandit chief here who will screw us up. They will deal a lot of damage. Let's get rid of the bandit who is shooting up here. We'll take this healing potion quick. I'm making constant quick saves here. We can knock this bandit off here and kill them really quickly. So that's pretty good. I think the bandit chief is attacking us, if I'm not mistaken. We'll make another save here. Oh no, we didn't get to do a parry there. Never mind me, man. I'm kind of hoping that we don't get uh, absolutely uh, flabbergasted here. So we're taking a lot of damage here, man. Wow. All right, we'll do this. Um, weak poison. All right, well, let's heal up here quick. Try and be careful here because I don't have too much. If I could just, if I could just get this shielded bandit man, this would be fine. If I could just get rid of this shielded bandit, that would be somewhat okay. Probably should have taken a follower, honestly. Let's try and drag them down here. Because I have a potent paralysis poison, which will definitely help us out here. Yeah, no, they took us out there, so we'll try and quick load here again. I may not be able to straight do this. So let me, let me use the potent paralysis. Oh. They, they did not really take much damage there, did they? And the poison wore off, man. Right, let's level up here again. Let's go into Magicka. See if we can gain anything out of this. Maybe... Let's put a point into it. Let's just put a point into Heavy Armor now, right? Let's do a Stamina Attack here. Oh, man. I swear to God. Alright, let's try and... And take out the Bandit here with... Alright, let's use a Potion again. Alright, so we got rid of that bandit there. Getting some high ground man isn't a bad idea, honestly. If any of you wanted... Alright, we'll try and do that again here. Okay, you know what, bro? Let's use it. We used it. I forgot I had it. Someone is probably screaming at me that I didn't use it. And I completely forgot about it. Power attack. Alright, let's take out this bandit chief. Oh my god. God, there we go. Christ, I completely forgot we had the Berserker Rage, bro. I completely forgot we had Berserker Rage. What, Cram? Hello. Goodbye. All right, well, we got 20% put into our heavy armor. I don't feel like it's too much of a waste, but maybe it was worth getting. Who, you know what? Who cares, man? We have infinite levels up. Leveling up. Like, you know, like, what's the matter? As long as we don't, like, miss getting combat at the beginning, which I've done many times before, it's fine. Right, we'll knock that bad boy off. I feel like this bridge is a good place for a thumbnail for this episode. Oh, is there anything... Oh, we'll take the cabbage, man. I definitely should probably go and kill the bandits first before I... Oh, we'll take all that cabbage instead of doing this first. Let's take the pickaxe, because we don't have one yet, I don't think. So there's one more bandit over here. Oh, no, it wore off. Never mind. That's bad. Well, it's not bad because we can take out the bandit because it's only a dagger. Unless they really do lots of... No, they won't. Never mind. We have it. He's dead. And there you go. Valheim Towers have been taken out, bro. Take the iron, iron daggers and the gold. And we'll get that enchanted bow that's up here, man. The one that's at the top here. Oh, there's some iron ore. Definitely keep clearing out some camps and leveling up our character because, you know, no matter what, we want to make sure that we are ready to fight whatever we come across instead of struggling. Let's open up this chest. Um, you know, we can return armor and his stored. Oh man, we've got some more stuff to sell and stuff like that. I'm not going to set myself that every at the end of every one I do specific things. 
Oh, man, we got a ward, which is going to be great when we fight dragons, because I'm telling you. Oh. We're going to get dragons early just because I have wards. That's it. Because, you know what? We're using them. We're using everything. Why not? So we got the black arrow, and at the top of this is an enchanted bow. It's usually an imperial bow. Yeah, imperial bow of diminishing. Man, I wanted to make a thumbnail, and look what happened! Crap! I got my thumbnail, man. You'll get it. If you see this part, you'll understand where it is. Oh, can I fast travel now, yeah? Oh, man, let me put myself on white run. Oh, my God, phew. We actually got away from that. That's good. Wow. Did they follow us? No. All right. We'll give Amaroon a sword next time. Get ourselves sorted. We'll make a save here. And we'll do that. Good luck, hey.